All right, here we go. Finally, uh, actually assembling some stuff. We have the Eagle Rods about to go on the crank. Uh, I actually just got off the phone with a guy at Eagle, just wanted to confirm some things. As far as the direction of install, he said that these rods are symmetrical. It doesn't matter which way you install them. I believe when I took them off, all logos were facing forward. I asked them if it mattered if the tangs were on the top or the bottom of the crank as it sits in. He says it doesn't matter. He said they're symmetrical, so it doesn't matter if the tangs on the top, bottom, whatever. They're all good to go. And he also did confirm the 43 foot pound torque on these ARP fasteners which he said that you do need to use Molly lube, any type of Molly lube, not just regular oil, not Loctite or anything like that. Turns out the Lucas assembly lube is some type of zinc, Molly and other high pressure additives. So this is exactly what we need for the uh, torquing oil. So I'm gonna go ahead, get started. I think I am just gonna go ahead and keep all the uh, logos facing forward. Real quick, I did decide to go with the 0.026 bearings. These were the ones that uh, Rally Sport Direct accidentally sent me the uh, coated ones. Um, these did come in right around 0 .0015 of an inch. Uh, there was a little leftover plastic gauge on there. So I'm actually switching it up using just straight up coffee filters to clean these off. And then we'll just use assembly lube, this Lucas assembly lube on the uh, bearings and the bolts and run it down. All right, we got our rods on our crank. We have our main bearings, the 0.026 bearing. I'm gonna try and put the crank in the case halves today. I got the four O-rings we needed. It's this one, uh, orange colored one, and then three of these. They look kind of flat, almost a little ridge in the middle. We'll need the six fresh washers for the uh, case half bolts that go on the inside. And I'm gonna clean this up pretty good, put the main bearings in, and then we'll try and assemble it. All right, got the crank set in the case half, got the O-rings, um, all the bearings are in. Uh, did clean and dry it prior to that. Put a little bit of assembly lube on all the bearings. Now we're going to try and use this uh, Permatex Ultra Gray and do something like this little picture right here, uh, all on this uh, case half right here, and then we'll try and Put them together and torque it down uh, according to the instructions. Directions it says uh, to assemble everything finger tight and wait an hour. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and torque everything down. All right, let me show y'all what I got as far as the silicone pattern. We uh, did circle each individual uh, case half bolt hole. So there's that one. A little bit down here in the corner of the front. This just seals on the oil pump. Uh, nothing down there circled each one of these bolt holes and then from the rear main seal down to the oil pan to go around both sides of the dowel over here on the top side circled the bolt hole rear main seal up these are all the top uh, bolts in the case halves I did go ahead and go around each individual hole on the top got a little bit on that o-ring uh, then the oil pump right here, and then we did circle all these bolt holes as well. I think we're safe near the bearings and the assembly lube. I am going to put just a little bit of assembly lube on these bearings on this side of the case half, or on that case half, and uh, we're going to squish them together. <laughs> 